for me, taking pictures of architecture, the timing has to be right. And timing are the most important thing. So whether sunrise or sunset, those tend to be uh, the, the times I enjoy to photograph buildings um, in general. But also overcast days, which we seem to get a lot here in London. It's exciting because it, it helps to give that moody atmosphere. And that's kind of what I try to portray in a lot of my shots. It's more so just trying to portray that cinematic vibe uh, in every still. Uh, just so it feels like it's like a, a shot that has a feeling to it. I'm obsessed with kind of making sure that things are aligned, um, the sharpness uh, of the shot as well, and you know, just making sure that I'm showing, showcasing the architecture the way I see it. When I got into photography and picked up a camera, um, that was an opportunity to kind of see for the first time like London architecture, and it was, it was crazy. You know, I, I, it was just amazing to see another side to the city, and it was almost like rediscovering London again. Like, so yes, it's always like been a fascination for me, I guess. Because I feel like my photography has always kind of evolved depending on like how people perceived it on social media. Um, based on feedback I got from people then kind of like encouraged me to continue going in a certain direction and it just kind of fueled I guess the fire to continue shooting and pursuing that type of photography. My interpretation of the theme, things are looking up, um, initially I, I was viewing it from a street photography perspective um, because in the last year uh, that's the direction I've been going in with my photography. So I was thinking of trying to incorporate with a street kind of twist to it, which kind of went on for a little while, but the brief itself gave me that opportunity to actually revisit architectural photography because it's something I haven't kind of exercised in like maybe six months, which feels like a long time to me. Um, so yeah, it was nice to kind of be able to interpret this brief uh, with just uh, the London architecture again. The audience on Instagram is like so kind of global and the way a lot of people who are not from here, especially people from the States, like whenever they saw a picture of the Gherkin, their reactions were crazy. It was like they just couldn't compute that like this was a real thing. They're like, what is that pickle or what is that like? <laughs> Favourite buildings um, would definitely be the Gherkin. I mean, any others tend to, I do like the Shard as well, the um, cheese grater. I'm not sure the real name for it, I forgot. I think last year I was sent to like 15 different countries uh, which was amazing because they gave me the opportunity to actually start to see architecture from other parts of the globe rather than just London. Um, so I went to America, Asia and it just helped me to understand how blessed uh, London is with its architecture and just the futuristic design especially on the underground as well.